we are going to uh, take the C47 um, software that runs on a Swiss Micro DM42N and do some dimensional analysis problems. Just two, really. Let's say you had 7.8 kilometers per hour, right? And you want to change that into something like meters per second. How would you do that? Well, we need the conversion factor of kilometers to meters. The easiest way is thinking there's 1,000 meters in one kilometer. Now, some teachers don't like that. They like to say, oh, 0 0.001 kilometers is equal to one meter because they want to suggest that one meter is smaller than um, a kilometer. But here, I know there's a thousand of these meters in one kilometer, which is a thousand. Either way, it's going to work, all right? Um, and then the, the hours to seconds. Well, for every hour, there are 3,600 seconds. Because if you think about it, in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And in 60 um, minutes, there are 60 seconds. 60 times 60 is 3,600, okay? So we can think of it that way. All right. So... We make a, a table here, 7.8 kilometers, right? For every one hour. For every one hour, it does 7.8 kilometers. That's how we have to think about it. And we want to change the kilometers into meters. To do that, we can say that one kilometer, which will be on the bottom here, is a thousand meters, okay? So this right here is a ratio, um, a ratio between kilometers and meters, which is perfect. Kilometers on the top here, kilometers on the bottom. These will cancel out nicely to give me meters. Then the hours. One hour, right, is 3,600, what, seconds, right? So hours and hours cancel, and we'll leave we're left with 3,600 seconds. So 7.8 7 .8 times 1,000. 7.8 enter times 1,000, right? If you ever never used a, um, an, RP, an RPN calculator, it's, it takes a little bit used to. You've got to enter that number first. And then multiply these two. Gives you 7,800. Divided by 3,600, okay? So we uh, take 3,600. We don't need to enter it. We can just leave it in the stack and then divide. That gives you 2.166 watt meters per second, okay? That gives you <clears throat> what you need for the conversion. Let's say we want uh, 7.8 kilometers, right? Per hour and let's say we want it at miles per hour not a problem okay but before I do that before I do that um, this conversion factor here we uh, use this one right why don't you try this conversion factor in here right it would be 7.8 right and then here in the bottom would be 0 0.001 right times 3,600, you multiply, then divide, gives the same answer, okay? Just in case, um, I wanted to point that out, because this, you can move in the bottom, and it would be this number here. All right, so um, let's do a table again, okay? And you can see 7.8 um, kilometers, right, for every hour. You can think of it as every one hour. Um, and here, a lot of times, one mile is equal to 1.6 kilometers. So that is in the table where you need to memorize or they give it to you. So, 1.61 <clears throat> kilometers in one mile. You can see kilometers, kilometers cross out, and you get miles per hour. 
So 7.8 again, enter 1.61, divide. That gives you 4.847 miles per hour, right? Or miles per hour, either way. Now the calculator, the C47, does have some conversions. Let's look at those. So if you press the shift button and five, it gives you conversions. This will be in speed, right? So we press the shift button, press speed. And then we have a, a few things here. <clears throat> so the first one, 7.8 kilometers per hour, 7.8. Let's put, let's enter that 7.8 is in kilometers per hour. And you want to change it to meters per second. You see that? Kilometers per hour to meters per second. So 7.8 kilometers per hour is already on this side of the key board. I want to convert it into meters per second. So we would use this button. One, two, three. This would be F3. So we press this button. And it gives you 2.166, which is the same thing. And look at over here. It says meters per second. Isn't that cool? On the side right here. Would be nice if it would have been over here, but it's still cool. It's over here. This one, 7.8. And I don't think you can I don't think you can compress this, can you? No, you can't. No, because then you, you would think it's 7.8 miles, right? So it, it doesn't work that way. 7.8, okay. 7.8 kilometers per hour. I want to change it to miles per per miles per hour which would be this one, wouldn't it? Kilometers per hour, 7.8, which would be this one right here, the second one. So we press this button once. You can see it's underlined. And kilometers per hour, we want to change it to miles per hour. And then what would be this button here? Miles per hour. And we get 4.847 miles per hour. It's conversions, pretty good. <coughs> Accuracy. Oh, this calculator is awesome. Accuracy of these these answers might not be super great. There might be, um, maybe not this one, but this one in terms of the, um, the conversion between miles and kilometers might be more accurate with more numbers on this. So you have an idea now on the C47, on the Swiss Micros DM42N, uh, and, and some of its conversions um, doing um, uh, dimensional analysis on it. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please tell your friends. Please tell your teacher. Um, thank you for supporting the channel. And um, and I appreciate anyone uh, as well as giving uh, the thanks. Um, thank you very much for that as well. Um, have a great semester. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.